Uh, you know, this was uh, an interesting week for us. It's not often you play away from home against the number three team in the nation. Uh, Virginia was in the Final Four last year, returned nine out of their 11 starters. So it was about as stiff a challenge as you can have. Uh, for about 60 minutes of the match, I thought we played really well and controlled how the game was played. We were leading after 60 minutes, uh, but they're awfully good and, and made it a great game. Uh, and I was pleased with our performance, even though uh, I wasn't pleased with the result. Um, uh, I think maybe the best part of it was seeing how disappointed our kids were coming off the field having lost that match because they knew that they could compete. They knew that they did compete. Uh, and so uh, I think that disappointment will push us forward over the rest of the season. This is a really good team uh, coming into preseason. I said this might be the best team we've ever had at UAB. Uh, and while our results didn't show it this weekend, uh, I thought our performance might have. And so I'm, I'm happy with the kids. I'm happy with how hard they're working. Uh, we've got two more really big games in front of us, uh, both Vermont and Dayton this weekend. Both were in the NCAA tournament last year. Uh, Vermont is 4-0, and that's who we've got Friday night. Uh, and so uh, as we open the Soccer for Cure Classic, uh, I think we've got uh, some great challenges in front of us, but also great opportunities. Coach, what is it about this team that makes it uh, one of your best, or perhaps your best? You know, this is probably the deepest team we've ever had here. Uh, we can uh, play an awful lot of people uh, and feel confident that the level won't drop off. Uh, we can play two games in a weekend against nationally ranked opponents and feel like we're going to compete all the way through. Uh, but we've also got some incredibly talented individuals. Uh, both of our captains have played really well all season. Uh, Darian Copeland in the back for us has just been uh, an absolute beast. Uh, and Alex Clay, our captain on the offense, uh, had uh, a great goal against Virginia, played a great game, uh, very composed young man. And so uh, along with being deep, there's some, some really talented people. I guess this is a result-based industry or result-based sport. So you're improving, but coming off an 0-2 weekend, how important is it to come out and really perform well and get a few of those wins? Yeah, you know, there's two separate issues there. There's performing well and there's winning. Uh, and we expect to do both. Uh, I think that, uh, again, our kids were disappointed because of the results. Uh, but I think they have a lot to be proud of in their performance. And if we can put those two things together, have a good week of training leading up to the weekend, uh, then I, I'm very confident we can do both things. Anything that's surprising you right now? Like you were talking about your depth, but just the amount of parts and the amount of people that can, you can go out there and you have your options to change up lineups and whatnot? Um, I'm not sure surprising is the word I would use. Pleasing, maybe. Uh, you know, we've played a lot of young guys. Uh, there were some freshmen that played uh, the full 90 minutes on Sunday against Virginia and did a great job for us. Uh, and so I think probably the most pleasing part is how quickly some of the new guys have integrated into the team and uh, gone out there and showed that they can compete right away. Last thing I want to add, uh, just uh, the Soccer for a Cure Classic, uh, along with being some great soccer, is an opportunity for us to raise money to help families that are battling cancer here in town. All of the money that's raised goes to help families with the costs uh, of, of fighting cancer here in town. All of the money stays local. And so, uh, you know, it's an event that uh, is about soccer matches, but it's also about helping the local community. Thank you.